back. Woo! Good God Almighty! What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Bubbleville Bassin and uh, Black we, Label Bassin. We got How old, are y'all? We got old Black Label Bassin here. We're gonna go uh, attempt to slay uh, a couple fives and sixes. Hopefully, we should at least get one before the day is over with. Hopefully, more. <laughs> Um, quick little thing I wanted to do, uh, before we get into the video and all that good stuff, uh, I wanted to give a shout out to Fishing With Fitz, uh, go check out his channel, it's gonna be linked below, check out Black Label Bassin, his channel's gonna be linked below, um, I appreciate, uh, Fishing With Fitz to, uh, subscribe to my, uh, buddy here, uh, Thanks, man. yeah, we're all growing here, so we wanna keep the, the train rolling with subscribes and comments and likes and all that good stuff, so we'll see you on the water. What we're going to try to do is figure out what the wind's doing and we're going to try to cast in the most sunniest banks possible. It's 50 degrees outside right now. It was 19 to 20 degrees at nighttime. And uh, so when the sun's getting up on the, the hot spots, you know, on the bank, it should get them bass moving because it's supposed to be up to 57 today. Uh, I had to take my jacket off and everything. So. The, the weather's gonna, you know, play a big part. Got one? Yep. Oh, he spit it. I had one, y'all. He spit it, though. <laughs> <laughs> but if I had a chatter bait, I'd bet he would, wouldn't get off of it. Especially one of them bubble bill candidates. Custom bait. Hooked up. Yep. What you got? Bubble bill. Nice fish. Look at it. Alright guys, bill. so this is probably the smallest bass I've caught in, a, in about a month or so, but it's a good sign. I knew coming to this bank right here with the sun beating straight down on it, with the wind coming to my left, uh, he just attacked it. I saw um, Waylon get hit, or uh, Black Label Bassin get hit right here, and uh, I just knew that they were going to be stacked up on this little, you know, this little shelf right here. All right guys, so basically what I did in this video, uh, demonstrating with the jerk bait here, is I'd sling it as far as possible, and then as soon as it hit the water, I'd give it a nice, really, really hard pop, so that I could get the bait down to where it's supposed to be. I believe I'm in six to eight feet of water, I don't have a depth finder on me, right in this video, but I'd sling it as far as possible, I'd pop it hard one time, and then I'd reel up my slack to get the line tight, and then if I didn't feel anything hit it, I would pop it again. And then if I didn't feel anything hit it again, I'd give it a double pop. And then you just feel them fish, just tap it, and then you just set the hook on them like I am right now. So, it's just all a matter of winter fishing, man. Just low and slow, or, you know, slow and just get an erratic action. And, you know, get them fish to get enticed and just hammer that thing. But y'all see, y'all see throughout the video of how I do this, like... I'm not fast, but I'm not super slow, but I still reel up my slack and That's I get the fish one. to commit on it, and they definitely Seems want it. So. it. Stay tuned, guys, for uh, the rest of the video. Now, what I'm doing, guys, I'm just popping this jerk bait really slow, giving it a good time in between, and that one smoked it.
There you go, guys. Nice little, little bass. This is a big one. Oh. I lost him. I lost him. He just spit it. <laughs> You'll get on him. Oh, the hammer again. Get any hits? No. I said no. I lied. Well, you can put him on your spin cast if you want. Huh? So what's that? Jerk bait. Spin caster? I might put him on my spin. Just make sure you give him back. He's my bite. <laughs> Right. Little dinkers, man. They sit there and watch it. Once it's sitting there, you jerk it. They go. Thank you. Nice fish, dude. Thank you. Nice fish. Look at Bubba's fish. It's about three. Nah, he's about two. Two. I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. Huh? It's one thing. Never lie on YouTube. Told you I felt him dink it. <laughs> Here he goes. Uh, he's about two. You get hit? I don't want to kill you. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I don't want you to kill me either. <laughs> uh. Shit, they're eating the paint off this damn thing. Saw that right? What? All that bait flickering over here, they're chasing it.
Hey, give her, when you first cast her out, give her one good pop to get her deep. Yeah. And then let her stay there where she's popped at, but keep tension on your line so you can feel that tick. Okay. And then if you don't feel the tick within five to 10 seconds, give her one good pop. Because they hit it while it's just sitting there because they think it's dead. Oh, they do? Yeah. That was a big fish. Hey guys, one thing I forgot to mention is that when you have the knocker beads in a jerk bait, like when you uh, pop it, you can hear them rattle in the water. Uh, one thing I picked up on is that when a bass hits that jerk bait, you can actually hear the rattles move when they hit it. That's another indication I used to know when I got hit. So not all the time I just felt the slack or the hit, but I could actually hear it. So that's what, one cool thing about it. There she is, guys. Got the hook at her. All right, we done drifted way, way from it. Yeah, I think that's the one that unspooled me. Yeah. Waylon? What? You almost sent me over. Yeah. All right, guys, so at this point in time, we uh, basically keyed in on this location. Like, earlier in the day, the uh, sun was baking on this bank right in front of me right now, and the bass had all the shad pushed up against this brush and timber, and then there's a bunch of uh, logs sticking up out the water right here that someone put in there. So it makes a great ambush point for them bass to key on all the bait fish schools that are just swimming by, and they just push them to the shore and just start munching on them. And there's one right there. Got one? Double up. Is it big? Yeah. <laughs> it was. It broke me off. Damn, Waylon. I must have had them. You must have had the male and I got the female. Bye. If I didn't get that stuff and not retired, I could have got that big fish. That circle was a monster. Though. I got a monster. Big. Yeah. Swear if he's got my daggum bait in his mouth. There's a pink there. Nice fish dude. Thank you. Check his gully. He ain't got it. I am gonna need my pliers. Show. There's Bubba's fish. 
Nice fish, bub. Nice little three pounder, I guess. Nice little three. Smoking that jerk bait dog. He ain't that big. <laughs> well, I mean, he's a pretty good size. He's beaten. That's a little chunker. I had the camera off, guys. Sorry. This is a tank. Yeah, this one's the tank, all right. Yeah, I <laughs> Nice fish, though, Chris. Thank you. Nice little dinker. Got one? No, I don't know. Get hit? I don't know. See him on the bottom. No, not on the bottom. I must be getting wet. Fish! Big fish. Nice little largey, dude. Nice little largey. She's got red lipstick on, too. Look at them crunchers down in there. That's for the digest them crawdads. Really, real slow when you come through here. I got whacked. It was probably a small fish. That's not a small fish. It is small. Hey, I didn't even do nothing. I just felt them hit it. Yeah. They're over here now because that wind's pushing all that bait up here. Right. And the fact that I'm fishing this differently than I was earlier. Over here. I just can't believe I haven't whacked a five or a six yet. I don't know what the hell I whacked over there. Dude, last. it was nice. Let this sit. I just got hit. See what happens. All right, guys, there she is. I felt her whack it. And she attacked him. 